let's come back and solve your 2015 paper very nice there's nothing no numerical if such paper is given to you this year means coming 2018 i think you'll get full marks in solutions chapter let's hope for the best yes let's come back and see so what did they give us in 2015 paper state henry's law direct question up thing is here so i've done this henry's law in video number 53 you can watch that video for that and they've given one more question why do gases always tend to be less soluble in liquid as the temperature is raised very interesting question we'll do that so let me first read out this erase this and use the board and there's an or question they've given us state Raoult's law for the solution containing volatile components okay i've done one video where i said i've explained you what is Raoult's law then i also did a video where i've explained or the thumbnail is named uh, labeled as uh, vapor pressure of a liquid containing volatile components means both solvent and solute are volatile so that is numbered as video number 17 in the playlist of solutions chapter please watch that video you watch both 16 and 17 you'll understand clearly what am i trying to explain you all next they have also given us right two differences between ideal solutions and non-ideal solutions so ideal and non-ideal again i've done in video number 18 the same question is repeated in the earlier question paper also please watch that video so one henry's law video number 53 Raoult's law video number 17 and differences video number 18 now let us come back and explain this question yes i'm erasing this <coughs> now what did i say they said okay i'm answering this question very clearly just see how to write in the exam why do gases always tend to be less soluble in uh, liquid and when the temperature is raised okay let's start what did they say they've given us we'll write the answer they said when the gas is dissolved in a liquid it seems that is what they've given me isn't it soluble in liquid so what is going to happen when gas is dissolved in liquid it's going to first form a solution right gas liquid and along with this it's going to release heat so both are in equilibrium states understand carefully so now gas is dissolved in a liquid a liquid together they're going to form a solution and during this process amount of heat little amount of heat is revolved so that's why this this particular reaction the gas dissolving in liquid i'm calling it as and the reaction i'm calling it as exothermic reaction reaction is exothermic because energy is released if it absorbs i call it as endothermic energy is released exothermic now what is this process the solving uh, the dissolving of gas in the liquid what is this process called this is called dissolution so how are you going to write the answer write this first put it in a box right so the examiner knows what are you trying to explain then you can write dissolution of gas is an exothermic reaction okay let us write is a react here is and we'll write clearly in a sentence is an exothermic reaction okay done now careful now what did they say they have to say that it is less soluble now observe carefully now what happens when at this particular uh, point now if i'm trying to increase the temperature further now already an equilibrium is reached isn't it so when i when an equilibrium is reached when i'm trying to further increase the temperature now what did lee chatlier say he speaks about equilibrium state isn't it so he said whenever you're trying to change con components like concentration temperature yes pressure at equilibrium what will happen the system will try to adjust itself so that the effect is nullified that is what is leach idea let us come back and say it again they said when a dissolution of gas is an exothermic reaction and we also said when temperature this temperature is increased then what will happen according to Lee Chatelier principle according to Lee Chatelier principle this system will adjust itself or it's going to nullify the effect so what will nullify the effect means what happened this solution starts moving in the backward direction and again it forms gas that is what is Lee Chatelier principle so let me write in words you will understand so when the temperature is increased according to Lee Chatelier principle the system now what is the system here here this is a solution the solution right it has to nullify the effect so the solution uh, you know uh, undergoes backward reaction to nullify the effect hence forming 
hence forming back the gas okay right so that is why whenever you are tend to uh, see here that is why why do gases always tend to be less soluble in liquid less soluble in liquid when the temperature is raised that is why whenever you are raising the temperature immediately you will get the gas back it will become less soluble it will not be soluble according to Lee Chatelier principle so what is the logic once again I am repeating always remember whenever a gas is dissolved in a liquid it is going to form solution during this process a lot of heat okay it, some amount of heat is generated now this is attained in equilibrium now your Lee Chatelier principle concept starts whenever you are trying to attempt some you are trying to either attempt to increase the concentration to increase the temperature to increase the pressure this is equilibrium state what it does it tries to adjust itself a new equilibrium will start developing and it will adjust in such a way that the effect whatever effect you have applied increase or decrease whatever effect you are applied that will nullify it will become you know this effect is not shown so now what am i trying to do from here it has gone to this i've increased the temperature now system immediately it comes back in the backward direction and comes back in the backward direction that means increase of temperature again gives back me the gas this gas is okay simple isn't it now what will happen to the gas that means it is not soluble it has reverted back you know Pele, this is first these two combined together this one now reverted back so gas is not soluble when you increase the temperature so this is the concept so you can write in this way and underline words this is your dissolution is one keyword Lee Chatier principle is a second keyword and backward the reaction third keyword nullify the effect fourth keyword forming the gas is a fifth keyword so let's come back and see your 2015 paper part b this is your part one more question of your 2015 paper so let's read this question so first of all uh, whenever a numerical is given to you as i said please try to mention write the formula formula carries marks given right uh, mark will be given for the for noting the given data uh, substituting in the form formula again mark for writing the final answer units also mark so please don't leave any step of the numerical let's come back and see calculate the amount of CaCl2 molar mass is given to me which must be added to 500 grams of water to lower its FP freezing point by 2 Kelvin assuming calcium chloride is dissociated okay again the same story they have related your one tops factor as well as freezing point uh, that is your colligative property that is your uh, de depression freezing point let us relate first write the formula and note what what data is given to us so the formula which you are going to relate here because they have given dissociated as well as fp both so let's write the formula delta tf is equal to i into kf into molality which i have already uh, written we have known let's further uh, expand this i into kf into w2 by m2 into 1000 by w1 weight of the solute okay let us start from here van Toff's factor ebullio uh, cryoscopic constant weight of the solute molecular weight of the solute weight of the solvent let's come back now here you will be given mark half mark now let's start with the given data so what is the given data let's see what what is given is i given to us i is one of factor not given anywhere i is not given how should i calculate i calcium chloride right so how to calculate calcium chloride dissociates and uh, so dissolving in water it dissociates into ca plus 2 plus 2 cl minus plus 2 and minus 2 right careful here so even if you can don't write 2 gone so 1 plus 2 so i is 3 okay i have got i well, let's start kf what is kf given to me kf given to me is 1.86 k kg per mole done w2 what is the weight of the solute given i have to find that question mark m2 molar mass of the solute is 111 gram per mole done w1 weight of the solvent 500 grams of water simple isn't it so they've given this substituting the formula 
what do I get? Delta Tf is equal to uh, I is 3 into Kf is 1.86. Okay, Tf also is given to us, isn't it? Tf, how much is Tf given to us? Um, lower its freezing point by 2k they have given. Okay, lower. Whenever they give you lower its melting point, that means they have given is Delta Tf. Remember that. If they only give you Fp, that means Tf. Del lowering means Delta Tf. So, Delta Tf equal to 2k. So let's write 2k is equal to 3 into this w2 is how much I have to find out m2 is how much 111,000 divided by w1 is 500 grams simple w2 I have to find so what do you get cross multiply with this 2 into 111 into 500 divided by 3 into 1.86 into 1000. W2 is equal to 19.9 .9 if I solve grams. Please remember. Now, how should you write your answer? What do they ask? Calculate the amount of calcium chloride. So, you have to write your answer. This is where you get mark. Please remember. So, you have to write amount of calcium chloride uh, which must be added. Okay. Amount of calcium chloride which must be added. I am writing what is there in the sum. E is equal to 19.9 grams. This carries mark. This carries mark. This carries mark. This carries also, also carries mark. So, please note the numeric.